I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a question from previous test paper. So here is it, question number 5 which we are going to discuss now. The question is, the radius of a circular juice blot on a piece of paper towel t seconds after it was first seen is modeled by r of t equals to 1 plus 2t over 1 plus t where r is measured in centimeters. Calculate initial radius of blot time when radius was 1.5 centimeters rate of increase of radius when it reach 1.5 centimeters time when it will reach 2 centimeters. Okay, to find the initial radius, what should you do? Initial means t equals to 0, right? So just substitute t equals to 0. So we get r of 0 equals to 1 plus 0. When I write t equals to 0 plus 1 plus 0 in the denominator, so it is 1. So the answer here is 1 centimeter square. Time when the radius is 1.5 centimeters. So we need to now calculate time when the radius is given to us. So we need to rearrange this formula. Correct? So let's do it. So let's do part B now. So let me do it here. Part B. R of t is 1.5 for us and we need to find time which is 1 plus 2t over 1 plus t. So we'll just cross multiply. So we get 1.5 times 1 plus t equals to 1 plus 2t. So that gives me 1.5 plus 1.5t equals to 1 plus 2t. Bringing t's on the right side, 1 on this, we get 1.5 minus 1 equals to 2t minus 1.5t. So that is 0 0.5 equals to 0.5t. So t is 1, right? So that implies t equals to 1. So we get the answer. Time when radius was this is t equals to 1 and the units are seconds, right? Now c rate of increase of radius when it reaches 1.5 centimeters. So rate of increase means we have to find the derivative, correct? Okay, so let's find the derivative now. So r dash t equals to apply the quotient rule. So we have 1 plus t whole square. Derivative of 1 plus 2 t is 2 times 1 plus t the denominator minus 1 plus 2t times derivative of denominator which is just 1. So we get 2 plus 2t minus 1 minus 2t over 1 plus t whole square. Right. So we have to find the rate of change when the radius is 1.5 and we know the time is 1 second when the radius is 1.5. So basically we want to find the rate of change when t is 1. Is it okay? So if I substitute t equals to 1, we could actually simplify this. Okay, let's rewrite. So we only get 1 over 1 plus t whole square as a simplified version. Substituting 1, we get 1 over 1 plus 1 whole square which is 2 square or 1 over 4. The units are centimeters per second. Is that clear? So that is what we get for the second answer, which is 0 0.25 centimeters per second. The last question here is, determine the time when it will reach 2 centimeters. Now, as you can see the function, let's analyze the function now. We are given r of t equals to 1 plus 2t over 1 plus t. Now the question is, will it ever reach 2 centimeters? So if t is, is approaching infinity, in that case r of t will approach 2. Do you see that? But it will never be 2, right? So the answer here is that with the current model, 
right? So from this model, uh, from given model, the blot will never reach two centimeter radius. Is that clear? It's a rational function where two is your horizontal asymptote. So I hope that makes sense. So it's a very important selection of questions where uh, we have learned few concepts about uh, derivatives and also rational functions. I hope that helps. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe my videos, that'd be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.